children. I am Mrs. Rashmi Chaudhary, your EVS teacher. Children, last week we did lesson number four, houses we live in. Now, uh, when we were doing the chapter, what I did last week was, why do we need a house? Correct children? We need a house because it protects us from rain, uh, heat, thunder, thieves, etc. Isn't it? Now, let's move on to the next part of the chapter. I have told you all that, okay, uh, that there are two kinds of houses, children. The kacha house and the pakka house. Now, today, we talk about the kacha house, children. Alright. Now, uh, the kacha house. You know, children, they are not permanent houses. Uh, people who cannot afford, do not have much money, who are poor, they live in these kacha houses. And these kacha houses are made up of mud, straw, bamboo, leaves, etc. Okay, cow dung, etc. Okay, now there are, uh, I'll give you an example, I'll give you many examples in fact of kacha houses. Let's begin with the first example. And the first example is stilt house. You know children, in places where it rains heavily, and there is water all over the ground here. There you know if they will build houses, the water will enter the house. So what do these people do? They build the houses on stilts children. Now what are stilts? Stilts are bamboo sticks. Wo bamboo sticks kaya karte hai, unke upar they place the house. Okay? So this house is away from the ground children. Okay? It's in a height. So water cannot enter these houses. Alright? Alright. Now let's move on to the next kind of the house children. And the next kind of the house is igloo. You can see that in the picture there. Right? Alright. Uh, children, uh, place where it, there's snow throughout the year. Pura saal, waha par snow hi snow rehta hai. Aise jago par, in such places, people make houses with blocks of ice. And such houses are known as igloos. And people living in such houses are known as Eskimos. Okay? So people living in these houses are known as Eskimos. Okay? Alright. Now let's move on to the next kind of the house. And the next kind of the house is, let's, okay, the houseboat. Children, as the name itself suggests, a house which is built on a boat. Such a house would be a houseboat, isn't it? Or if you must have heard of this, see, can you see that picture? You can see this house is on a boat and there's water all around. It's usually in, on, in a lake. And places like Kashmir, Kerala, such houses uh, are there and people live in these houseboats or they just go for a, a trip to these houseboats, okay? So, uh, these, and these are the floating houses, children. They float in the water. Alright? Alright, now let's have the next house. The next house is the tent, children. This is also not a permanent house, children. Uh, you can see the tent over here. Alright? So this is a tent, not a permanent house. Uh, uh, people, you must have uh, sometime or the other gone, gone, gone for campaigning, children. Whenever you are out for campaigning, you cannot just build, you go to mountains or you go to uh, remote places or jungle etc. Isn't it? There you will not find any accommodation. So what would you do? You would just uh, be in a tent. And these tents, they are made up of canvas children. What is the material used uh, to make these tents? Canvas. And uh, even the army people, the soldiers, they also use these tents children. Because they also are not staying in one place. They also move from one place to the other. Alright? So, uh, let's move on to the next kind of the house children. Uh, the kacha house, which is the caravan. You can see this. This is a caravan. It's on a, a on four wheels children. Yes, house on wheels. So, it can be easily moved from one place to the other. Yes, this is also not a permanent house. So, that's a caravan. Uh, if you have to drive and go to some other place and spend some a few days there, then you can use a caravan. Uh, that's a nice 
uh, away to you know these two uh, people you can see they are just enjoying it by the lake side yes so that is another kind of the kacha house all right now children i hope you all understood the kacha houses i uh, told you about the stilt house the igloo the tent the houseboat caravan isn't it now read this part from your book okay and you i'm and then watch the ppt also i have attached the ppt also with it okay i'm sure you'll be able to understand this chapter well and then do the assignment the pdf is given assignment is given isn't it do that assignment in your eds notebook do it neatly and submit it back to me thank you children and have a great day